Hi, welcome to this second video tutorial on WebRTC series. In the first video, I show you how you could set up uh, the projects and request the permissions to access uh, the user uh, microphones and camera. Then now in this second video here, I will show you how uh, you could attach the stream return by the get media the get user media uh, the get user devices this uh, method here and how we can attach that stream to the video and show it in a specific uh, HTML elements so in order to do that um, I will go in the documentations and uh, we implemented uh, this video here, uh, this uh, script sample method here in the first, uh, that was this one, in the first video and we return a stream. Now you need to take this stream here and assign it to an HTML element. So, and once we assign that and we can see the video and if we scroll down, if we close, scroll down here, we can still see the sample uh, code here and then here you yeah, are using a uh, jQuery here uh, to get uh, the video elements that's one here and then from that uh, video elements here dot src object they assign the return stream to that and so once we do this one we are able to uh, show the video captured by the camera. So then for our projects, if we come back to our projects, we had something like this where we capture a request a media access. This one allows us to get the permissions. And then now let's go to our uh, view here. And in this view here, you are going to add a second button. If we take this one here, and uh, in this button now, you are going to change the ID to attach stream. So attach stream here and here, we are going to change this method here to say we call it also attach stream right attach stream so and then here you will see and so, so something like show show the video This is show the video here. And then in order to show the video, we need to get the video element. Uh, that's the video element. And inside here, we need to paste the ID that we call uh, video element then we can specify the width say 640 and the height say 480 and then we also set it to auto Auto play. We set this one directly to auto play. And then if we save this one now, so what we have to do now is to go back to uh, and we do it in two ways. So if we go back to our app component, in the app component here, we need to uh, retrieve uh, uh, 
our HTML video elements to get reference to that and uh, let's get the video to the video uh, get the reference to the video element by using view view child uh, here the name is Uh, this one, video element. Here is video element, and here we call it video element. Element uh, reference. There, if we take. Uh, up here should be HTML HTML uh, video element uh, that's that here and then we can also add or undefined so that is one here this is the reference to our video element that we just get, uh, we just uh, pull that reference, and we have it now in our code. So what we have to do now is to once we have that one, and let's go to our media service here and create another method that we call uh, here is the first one. Finish here, and then. This one we call it uh, attach media stream, attach media stream, and then we are going to pass uh, the tab here should be uh, we are going to pass the reference that we grab here. So this video element here, you can see the type was this one. We can copy this. I hope it will work. And here is the type. Of course, we are going to return void, nothing. And then inside now, we check the stream. So let us check our stream. So, if it is set, if this stream, if it is set, then what we do is, uh, as you have seen here, so we take the same concept, but here is this way and then we pass our stream to it this stream right else as console error no media stream available to attach so and then so here is our method which is ready now if we come back here to our app component and then what we have to do now is okay we take we define this method we can take this one come down we can implement it we can implement it this uh, so what we are going to do now is um, 
So because you have, you have to check if this one was granted, if this permission was granted, so you have to take this and you need to check something here. So if the permissions is granted, right, and the video element reference is there, these are two things that we check. Make sure that these two things are there. So it is true that we get the per we got the permissions and the video element is set then this uh, media service attach stream then we need to pass uh, the video element reference and then here uh, we need to continue with native element so we need to pass the native element else console log stream not available or media access was not granted media access was not granted and then so we are there and if we come here we might also uh, do something like so disable that. So let's, uh, in addition to, we can just disable, only enable the button when the permissions is granted. So, yeah. Let us try to do a trick here. Disable the button, and we only enable that if uh, the permissions has been. So without this one, let's check. And then if we go here, Okay, we have the request button here, which is there, show button. And yeah, because currently, yeah, I've already run this one, so should already be granted. Let's see. And yeah, you can see that now it is disabled. We cannot even show the video because uh, the permission is not yet granted. So if you refresh this one, now our code is ready. And then, if uh, we request uh, the access, we show the video. And, and bam. Um, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's your interference. interference. Yeah. And and okay. okay. It's, it's working. So, sorry for the interference here. The interference here is because of. Uh, uh, the audio which uh, was enabled, we can just come here and set the audio to false, right? If you set it to false, you refresh this, it's already done. Show the video, you can see that, okay, I have disabled the video and there's no more interference. So I hope that this is useful to you. And then, yeah, keep watching. Many surprises are coming. Then, yeah, bye.